Hello everyone, this is Joseph K. Welcome back to more Let's Play Tales of the Abyss 100%. In the last part, we made it to the abandoned factory and, well, Natalia joined the party, much to everybody's consternation. And she is basically blackmailing us, so we had to take her along to satisfy the princess. And now we, we hit this button to see what it does. Yeah, that was a lame cliffhanger, but I was getting up there in the time and, well, I don't want to go crazy with 30 videos. Uh, 30 minute vi videos. And we have a new enemy here. This is an apparition. Uh, much like the poltergeist that we fought back in the Coral Castle. Except they are very resistant to magic. But they shouldn't be too much of it. Like I was, like I said, the last part. If you leave the black tars alone too long, they will use acid rain to lower their defense, which is something we don't want this time in the game. So yeah. My recommendation is just get one of these enemies isolated. Try not to get surrounded by all the enemies. Because even though we're not hitting as hard as we could if we are playing as safe normal, we are still hitting heaps of damage. So we don't have to worry about being way too under level. And just let Sierra uh, do her thing. Who's next? Too easy. And that's that's pretty much it. <clears throat> there are only two more enemies left in this area. Ah, but you see we have two choices we can go. If you go down, you're continuing where you gotta go, but let's go up first if I can actually do that. I like that view right there, but nothing over there. Let's go all the way to the right and let's get this. A scimitar. Which is, I believe, an upgraded weapon for Luke. Yes, it is. Oh, man, that's one hell of an upgrade. Also, I'm not going to be focusing too much on getting every item I can get. Because you're not going to be able to complete the collector's book until you get a second playthrough anyways. But I will try to grab everything I can. <clears throat> there are a lot of, like armor and weapons I missed coming up to this point that I got the first time I played, but I'm just going to do it like this. Anyways, come over here, get a four-way fork, and let's go this way first. Get ourselves a cobalt chamber. Alright, let's go fight this bat. That bat can't decide which side it wants to be on. Hey! Alright. <clears throat> now that we've exhausted all those paths, let's go up here. Get ourselves a new enemy. This is the Basilisk. Let's go! Um. Lizard enemy. I believe they can, uh. I believe they can actually, uh, stone you. Or do some sort of military thing. Now that I'm playing this, I might just shoot stone with the I do know it hails with Fantasia, the best of the beast of an And I haven't been talking about what they drop because that'll be in the uh, description. Ow! I've actually never seen them do that. I guess it's because I usually kill people. Who's next? Whoop my ass like that. There we go. Too easy. Speaking of rice balls, how is Tyr coming along with that? Oh, 
Oh, that's interesting. This drum stinks. It's full of oil. It looks flammable. Huh. The drum is full of oil. It's too dark to see. Oh, that's why they did that. Okay, well. What do we do with oil? It's a shame we can't start fires. Oh, wait, we can. Fire! Go over there, set the barrel on fire, examine this thing. And we can press the switch. I don't know why we need a light to see that, because I can see it plenty. But that's what we have to do. All right, we'll come over here. Now, this is the gimmick of this stage. We have to light up all these barrels. Natalia, the leader? Oh, yeah, right. All right, everyone, let's hurry to Xerius. Yeah, right. Uh -huh. Is it just me, or do the meds seem particularly cooperative? I don't see a problem with that. I just wish they'd be like that for us. <laughs> Quick little funny skit thing. Oh yeah, by the way, speaking of skits, be careful. Luke, please take care when using of, when making use of Muse Fire. Huh? Why? It's possible there's still some oil left lingering in these pipes. So? What do you think will happen if the flames spread to those pipes? The whole factory could blow up. What? That's a very definite possibility. Huh. Like I'd make a stupid mistake like that. Hey, Fig! Watch where you spew those flames, got it? Yes, Master. Safety first. I guess it's a good thing I mentioned it. All right. Now, here's what we're going to do. After the next battle, I'm going to assign... Sorry, Tears got one star. But we're actually going to um, cook with Natalia. Uh, because you get to skip with her if you cook with her. But I think we got to go over here. Natalia learns Storm Edge. I believe that's an ability she gets. Oh, right, right. We want to cook with Natalia. So cook with Natalia. And we get a skit. The Princess's Cooking Struggles, Part 1. Ugh. Luke, stop it. You'll hurt Natalia's feelings. But it's disgusting. Luke... It's all right. I'm well aware that I have poor cooking skills. More like horrible. It's not like your meals are any better. Perhaps I should spend more effort in learning proper cooking. You better just think of this rest of us who have to eat that slop. Well, I never. Hey, calm down. Since Luke seems so concerned, I'm sure he'll volunteer as a taste tester. <laughs> Hey, wait up. <laughs> yes, indeed. I shall expect your full cooperation from you and your taste buds. Now, there is another skit that you could get here. I've never gotten it, though. Even on my other playthrough, I have not gotten it. But basically, you have to fail cooking with Natalia ten times. And there's, like, really not a way to ensure you're going to fail. Because it's like a roll of the dice. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But because I'm trying to get that skit, I'm actually going to put Natalia as my main cooker. And then, yeah, we'll just put that with uh, her. Alright. <clears throat> I guess my reason I'm not failing cooking later in the game, not my other playthrough, is because I... 
have already done so much great cooking with Natalia, it hasn't come up. Now, I don't know if that means you had to fail here, or can you fail elsewhere? I have a feeling you had to fail, like, elsewhere in the game, and you get it. I think that's how that works. Sorry about that cut. It seems that whenever I record, I have, like, stuff in my throat, or I'm stuffed up, and I don't like it. Anyways, what you want to do is you want to come this way, and... Uh, we did something. Get an apple gel. Now that... Let oil go somewhere else in here. I think that's all we can do in here. So... Let's go back over here. And you might actually have a better chance of failing if you cook on screen like this. But I don't I don't know. I wish you could just spam cooking over and over until you mess it up. But we we don't exactly have unlimited amount of ingredients to do that. So I'll just cook whatever I can with Natalia to get started on it. Alright, and then we come over here. Get a really weird animation. Man, that was startling. Some of these pipes to loose, huh? And that opens up a new area. Let's fight some enemies. And let's fight this guy. Golly. Alright. Come over here. And just gotta walk a couple steps forward and we're gonna get another scene. That's the same kind of drum we set fire to before, isn't it? Yes, I wonder if we can set fire to it and light up the area. Alright, this one is slightly difficult, but not too bad. What you want to do is you want to aim, use, fire right as the oil is coming. Like that. And then that lights up that. Which then lights up that area, which then allows you to use that area. Alright, so far we failed to cook with Natalia two times. And, yeah, that's what you gotta do. The moment you get Natalia in your party, cook with her, and then just keep cooking with her until she fails ten times to get the skit that I'm trying to go for. Which will make it the first skit I've gotten on here that I've not gotten on my main file, file that I'm doing all the other stuff for. All right, let's go back to that air card a little. See what happens. All right. Yay, let's go check out this air card. See what happens. And actually, now we want to take this air car. Uh, come over here and look for it to say examine, I think. Oh, no. We don't have to say examine. We just have to, uh... Oh, yeah. Lord switches. There it is. That's the gimmick. And then we will... We actually want to come over here and examine this thing. Alright. This is an oil supply machine. They must have used this to pump oil throughout the factory. Oh, okay. Well, let's uh, go ahead and uh, move, uh, operate this. And now the oil goes to the left. Get back in the air car. Yeah, now, now I'm actually consulting my notes because 
I forget how the order of operations work here. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, we do have to do that. Ah, uh, whoops. Ladder southeast. Yeah, this is where I wanted to go. Remember that drop of oil, that oil dripping thing we had? No, there wasn't oil dripping. Remember that barrel we saw right here? Well, now that we hit the thing to the left, Fire! the oil is dripping in here. Fire! Oh, this is annoying. Fire! There it goes. Eh, sometimes it takes a few, uh, times to do it. And now we want to put the oil back to the right. Part of me wants to end the video here, but then this will be like a three or four part excursion in here, and I really don't want to make this that many parts. Let's see how long I've been recording. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, we can go a little bit further. You gotta take into consideration I'm already cutting out like four minutes of battle, so... Hey, yep, come back here, switch back to the right. that kind of is missing in later Tales of games. Uh, hold up a second. Alright, yeah, like, that's something that's missing in later Tales of games, I'm just now realizing. <clears throat> like, there aren't too many gimmick puzzles like this in the games, and I'm wondering if that's because, you know, the people... Worse in the world. Okay, you get this skit for cooking something with uh, Luke. Uh, that one is not actually in my notes for right now. Uh, I do believe I get that later, or I've already gotten it. I think that's how that one's activated. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, this should have come this, this soon. Luke, your cooking is avant-garde. Hey, it's better than Natalia's. <laughs> Anything is better than the worst in human history. Well, excuse me for being the worst cook in history. I am aware that I need to improve my cooking. But the ingredients simply refuse to be cooked well. Well, if you just throw them in, all into a fire, then you're not getting them going to get much out. Yep. I feel like I've gotten that skit, or I should have gotten that skit before. Well, nonetheless, we got it there. And I just want to make sure... Yeah, okay. But anyways, we actually ran out of the ingredients to cook the rice balls, so... I'm going to go ahead and uh, switch the cooking to spaghetti, which we got plenty of that, and there's plenty of opportunity for her to fail. And then we'll just put her on spaghetti. But before we go through that way, we want to come over here. That knocks the treasure down there. We come over here to get it, and it's 3,000 gold, which we absolutely need. Nothing else over here, so let's go up. Now, I forget if I'm supposed to ride the car, or am I supposed to go through the exit? Okay, I gotta go through the exit. I think we want to set this on fire. 
Which, I don't know, didn't appear to do anything. And then, do we want to take this ladder? Oh no, that's where we're supposed to go, right. Uh... Okay, sorry for the cut. I got lost here. And that's why I have the notes, ladies and gentlemen, because can you imagine how long these videos would be if I was trying to figure all this out by myself? Get a life bottle? Aha! You aren't going to ambush us. Thought he was going to ambush us, did he? Alright, now come over here. And let's set this oil on fire. 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 There you go. Just saying the dripping oil on fire isn't going to light the place up. What? We need something to catch the oil with. Something to catch it with, huh? But what are we going to catch this oil with? Find out next time on Let's Play Tales of the Abyss 100%. This is Joseph K. signing out. Y'all have a great day and keep it real. Later. Thank you.